Ditka brings the best of the track to the street. The selection starts with the Coupe ST and moves up to the GT, Coupe and Liftback. From there, the Liftback GTS. And at the top end, Celica GTS four-wheel drive turbo. It's a lineup that combines Toyota's winning engineering with superb sports styling. From the sleek angled hood, to the contoured rear deck. Celica's wide stance and low profile present a sensuous, aggressive image. The sculptured bodywork maintains the distinctive Celica identity while maximizing its aerodynamic advantages. The payoff, stunning efficiencies, higher maximum speed, and excellent straight line and crosswind stability. The front end is rounded and flowing with color keyed bumpers standard on all models. The daytime running lamps also double as fog lights, contributing to the clean, uncluttered look of the front mask and grill line. And rise up halogen headlamps light up the road. From design through production, Celica is a model in adhesion and a durable, lustrous finish. Celica's power is racing world legend. Under the hood, the high performance power plant boasts multi valve technology. 16 valves, four per cylinder, provide exceptional breathing capacity. Compared with conventional two valve engine layouts, Toyota's multi valve design more efficiently mixes fuel and air in the cylinders, resulting in more complete combustion and a rush of power on demand. Direct overhead twin cams and electronic fuel injection add to the efficiency curve. Output ranges from 103 horsepower in the Celica ST to 135 for GT and GTS to an exhilarating 200 horsepower from the GTS four-wheel drive turbo. Standard on all Celica models is a five-speed manual overdrive transmission or an available four-speed overdrive automatic. This automatic transmission utilizes a highly refined superflow torque converter. With blades specifically crafted to minimize turbulence, the Superflow converter multiplies engine torque, giving a noticeable boost to off-the-line acceleration. But even with all that power, you still don't get the kind of engine vibration common to so many other sports cars. Celica's engine is mounted in a way that is unique to a select few automakers, including Porsche. In combination with conventional rubber mounts, liquid-filled mounts on both sides of the engine dampen any transfer of noise or vibration. The liquid is contained in two chambers above a movable diaphragm. When engine vibrations change, as they do with changes in RPM and speed, the liquid moves from one chamber to the other, flexing the diaphragm and thus suppressing vibrations in two ways. One, by fine-tuning the cushioning action of the mount. And two, by absorbing vibration through the flow of the fluid itself. In effect, the system is continually correcting itself, adjusting the stiffness of the engine mount to counteract the vibration at hand, creating a quieter, more vibration-free passenger compartment. Celica's ride comfort is solid, a perfect example of Toyota's dedicated design concept. The suspension is fine-tuned precisely to power output. Gas-filled McPherson struts, front and rear, along with top-end components like coil springs with stabilizer bars, maintain the best of sports car handling. Even response, positive traction, and good road feel on all driving surfaces. Intelligent rack and pinion steering, also standard on all models, matches the amount of power assist to engine RPM, with greater assist for low-speed maneuvers like parking, and less assist at higher speeds for precise handling. With the exception of the ST, four-wheel power-assisted disc brakes are standard on all models. For the ultimate in all-weather braking performance, the ABS anti-lock braking system is optional on GTS liftback and standard on the turbo. ABS allows the driver to virtually stand on the brake pedal, while the computer applies and releases the brakes many times a second. 
For safer stops in emergency situations, ABS delivers optimum braking and steering control. Celica's racing heritage is apparent even in the selection of tires. Aggressive handling calls for particular attention to tire construction and a rubber compound suited to a more agile tire with better road hold. It all adds up to a driving experience you can only really appreciate from the driver's seat. With GTS and turbo models, the seat construction illustrates Toyota's dedicated design, the pursuit of fully integrated excellence. Many cars use only one kind of foam padding throughout the seat, but Celica incorporates a variety of cushion densities for better driver support. A firmer bolster and a softer center create a sports seat that will hold the driver firmly in place, whatever the driving conditions. Seat construction features like these and the elimination of springs under the seat mean better fit and support. Plus, as an added bonus, more foot room for rear passengers. Celica's cockpit is all ergonomic for a sense of freedom. For the sports car enthusiast, as for any driver who simply appreciates dedication to quality and comfort, Celica is the clear front runner. For high power, high design, and race proven technology, Celica, legendary spirit, and leading edge performance. Toyota's philosophy of automobile design is the consistent exploration of new frontiers. And the Paseo is an excellent example of this ongoing long-term effort. Paseo is a 2 plus 2 sports coupe, a brand new model, the most recent addition to Toyota's youthful and vibrant lineup of fine vehicles. Paseo satisfies a desire among young car buyers, a desire for sporty performance that fits within a budget in other words, fun and value, all wrapped up in one package. But Paseo's most prominent characteristic remains a unique ability to excite the blood and quicken the pulse with dynamic styling and energetic handling. And with less mass and less friction loss, Paseo's direct drive valve train delivers superior high-speed response. Little economy. Plus, during gear changes, ignition timing is temporarily delayed, which results in very smooth shifting. The optional cruise control features an electric actuator to ensure smooth, constant power. Once again, this is something you don't expect to find on a vehicle of this class. But it's on the road where Paseo's sporty personality really comes to life and you can fully appreciate its finely tuned suspension. On the front are McPherson struts, and on the rear, a trailing twist beam system with stabilizer bars both front and rear. A long trailing arm provides excellent road follow, as well as the optimum match between running stability and ride comfort. Firm roll rigidity is assured by a lateral track bar. Braking performance is enhanced by ventilated front discs, which dissipate heat more efficiently. Once again, this is a feature normally found on more expensive automobiles. Rack and pinion steering features variable power assist, while the quick ratio steering gives faster response for that sports car feel. A low center of gravity for improved road holding and 14-inch tires for robust handling round out the experience. Of features, Paseo is the intelligent choice for performance and value. Tailor made, so you arrive in style, dressed for success. Celica, the sixth generation, a sports car for the 90s. With liftback and liftback GT models and a GTS option package. 
Celica for 1994. The fusion of style and substance. Substance is what it takes to excel in an extremely competitive segment, and Celica has what it takes. Beneath all that styling lies a harmonious blend of integrated engineering refinements just waiting for a challenge. In late August, Celica was put to the test at Transport Canada's Motor Vehicle Test Centre just north of Montreal against its toughest competitors. Probe, MX-6, Integra, Prelude and Talon. Employing sophisticated scientific measuring instruments to give precise readouts for time, distance and speed, a series of handling trials were conducted. The first test was to determine the top average speed through a sequence of pylons 25 meters apart. The fastest that Talon could navigate the course successfully was 73.77 kilometers per hour. The vehicle tracks well, but is starting to exhibit some drifting and body roll. The MX-6 gets going a little faster, 76.16 kilometers per hour, but the tail end is hanging out. Integra reached its limit of control at 77.59 kilometers per hour. Prelude managed a little more speed, 78.15, but at that point it was close to the edge. The Probe is a good handling car, and at 78.83 kilometers per hour, the fastest so far. But a little rear end drift is evident through the last couple of pylons. Contrast the competitors with Celica. At 80.02 kilometers per hour, the handling is firm and in control. Even when the speed was not stopped to 81.2, the grip is confident and secure. And the tail end hangs in tight. Another key factor in handling performance is accident avoidance, or how the vehicle responds during a sudden swerve. The Integra was pushing the envelope at 78.5 kilometers per hour. This is Talon at 82.5. Prelude at 84.2 kilometers per hour. Probe managed a respectable 84.6 kilometers per hour, but lost a little traction pulling it back in. MX-6 just made it through at 85.3. Celica's power steering now features a rotary type control valve. At 86 kilometers per hour, the positive linear response and excellent wheel follow is evident. Even at a slightly higher speed, Celica snaps back quickly and firmly. Braking performance is an extremely important safety factor. So a test to measure braking distance from 110 km per hour helped determine the difference between competitors. Integra took the longest distance to stop, 199.8 feet. Prelude was next at 192.9. MX-6, 189.3. Probe was slightly better at 183.7 feet. Celica once again displayed clear superiority. 165 feet, almost 20 feet ahead of the next contender and over 30 ahead of Integra. Talon was the only vehicle tested that was not ABS equipped, although it is available. Its best stopping distance, 218.2 feet, was more than 50 feet further than the standard set by Celica. ABS allows greater steering control during panic braking. The next evaluation was swerving and stopping on a wet surface. Probe handled the test well, braking from 81 kilometers per hour in 129.9 feet. Celica, at a slightly higher speed, 82.7 kilometers per hour, came to a stop a little more quickly in 116.8 feet. At a roughly comparable speed, 79, this was the best MX-6 could manage. The top speed at which Integra could successfully negotiate the course was 71.4, over 10 kilometers per hour slower than Celica. Prelude was even slower, 65.6, and it still managed to take out a pylon. 
Here's Salika again, almost 15 kilometers per hour faster than Prelude, clearly displaying a superior level of